Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today we're going to be doing a winter essentials video. I love watching these videos. I'm not exactly sure why I've never done one because I have so many winter essentials that I am so excited to show you guys. I have been really trying to figure out some things. So I have been kind of MIA on Instagram. I've been posting here and there, but just so you guys know, I am going to be posting a lot of looks. I promise you guys, a lot of looks within the little bit of time we have left in this year. So definitely be sure to follow me on Instagram so you can see that. I have actually booked out some studios to get some photos done. So y'all will be seeing the photos. I know I said that before, but I was kind of going based off of the weather and the weather has been failing me every single day for the last like three weeks. So your girl has booked out some studio time. I'm gonna be recording it as well and showing you guys the behind the scenes. So definitely give it a huge thumbs up if you guys are excited about that. But anywho, so per usual, I am gonna be setting up the video in chapters, so tops, bottoms, etc. But I am gonna be showing you guys in the first portion of this video items that I got from Urban Outfitters. So thank you so much to them for sitting over these pieces. I love Urban Outfitters. I have loved them since before I even graduated. So the first half of this video is gonna be items from Urban Outfitters, and I'm so excited because I have been real on a cozy vibe lately and these pieces scream okay cozy so starting off is literally the shirt that i have on and as you can see it is a long sleeve ribbed almost forgot the word long sleeved ribbed knit top and because it's fitted it's tight but not like uncomfortable tight just like a nice snug body hugging tight it just looks good right it looks so good and it's super cropped if you're not into super crops, as you can see, you could easily wear something high-waisted to balance it out. If you wanted to go with like a low-waisted or low-rise pair of like cargo pants or any type of bottoms, do you say okay. Of course, y'all know if I love something, I have to get it in black because it's, it's necessary. It just is. So this one I also got in a size medium slash large, just like the last one, but this one fits a bit tighter. So you guys know how different colors, even of the same item, fit differently. Well, this one is... A little tight all right so i definitely could have gone up a size but i obviously didn't know that it was going to fit different but it still works it still fits really nicely so yeah with this one i'll probably just go ahead and get the large slash extra large because i'm definitely going to grow out of this really soon with the rate of my body changing so yeah this is the second top and we have one more similar to this so i'm gonna try that one on real quick and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the pieces so next up we have this cardigan right here and this is a super super soft fluffy cardigan and I love this so much I love these types of cardigans the material feels so good on the skin I don't have anything underneath here and it's just doing everything like it feels so it feels like a really soft blanket and I got this in a large and I'm so glad because I was originally gonna go for an extra large but I feel like the large fits me exactly the way I want it to and with these I like to just kind of tuck it in on the side just to give me a little bit of shape so it's not like super boxy and then with these you can layer with them put a coat over it you can honestly put something underneath this if you want to i actually kind of like it just buttoned up like this and then with a pair of boots okay all right so next we have this button down and as you can see stunning color absolutely gorgeous i immediately was like i need it i went to this listing on urban outfitters and they did have a bunch of other colors but i was like no I don't care I need this and they had it in black too and I still chose this over black so this is in a size large and this of course is a perfect layering piece button downs in general are perfect for layering and this I just have on a white tank and these same jeans I had on earlier which are also in this video so definitely stay tuned for that but this I love it y'all it's so cute you could tie it up in the front if you want and give more shape to yourself or just wear it down and slouchy and comfortable definitely love the way this feels as well it is very soft even though it has like these ridges in it almost it still feels really really good on the skin so yeah love this one and we're gonna move on to the next piece so as you can see we have us another top that is very similar in color to the last one and I just had to because I love this color this is a cute little knit cropped zip up top and as you can see zipping it all the way up has a little bit of a high neck which I love it I definitely wear this top with either these jeans or some sweats or something because this is like a super like soft knit sweater material it's light but I can tell that it's very warm at the same time like you're gonna get real warm up in this so if you're wearing this for like warmth it's definitely gonna do some justice y'all my voice is all over the place because I have been sick basically for the last month at this point I don't know what's going on I've gotten sick so many times since moving to Atlanta it's ridiculous I haven't been sick in years until i came here so i don't know what's in the water i don't know what's going on but my voice is a little off i'm nasally so don't mind that next up i have another top that's similar to the two tops that i showed you earlier 
This one is a little different. It is the same exact type of material, but it does have this piping right here in gray. And I really liked the neckline or the cut of this. I feel like it makes me look a little bit more, you know, I'm just kidding. But I got this in a medium slash large as well as the others. And I would definitely do a gray pair of sweats with this and then maybe throw on a cardigan if it's a little chilly out, some slides or slippers or something like that and call it a day. And right along with this top, I have on these sweats, which are from Urban Outfitters. And I looked at the ratings of these and it was super high. People were raving about these sweats. And I was like, let me see what it's hidden for. Okay, so I got them. And even from just trying them on, not actually wearing them anywhere yet, I can tell that they are going to be fire, okay? I got these in a large because with sweatpants, if I wanna wear them high-waisted, then I get them in a large because there's room for me to like pull them up. And if I want to wear them super baggy, I could just pull them down and it'll still give that same effect. And the drawstring is like a cream color, so it will pretty much go with anything. I do wish it was black because it would just kind of blend in a little bit more but I do really like these sweats a lot. They're super soft. Everything that everyone was saying in the reviews, I'm seeing it, okay? I'm feeling it and I'm seeing it. So this top probably looks a little familiar and it's because it is that green top that I showed you previously that I said I had another color in. I have it in black, of course. And I also got this one in a large and I love the way that they fit. They both fit exactly the same. There is no difference because of the color or anything like that. They feel exactly the same. And then also these sweats that I just had on, I also have them in gray, as you can see. And these are just as perfect as the other ones. These are also in a large as well, of course. And these also have like a cream colored string and they're literally the exact same. So I don't have too much to say about them because y'all know how much I love the last ones. So I feel the same exact way about these and they don't feel any different. The fit feels exactly the same and they do both have the same pockets. Pocket here, no pocket on the other side in the back, but on both sides. And yeah, so now that we have finished up with the clothes from Urban Outfitters, I'm gonna move on to the shoes and accessories that I have. Super cozy, perfect for the vibe that I'm going for this fall and winter. So I'm gonna show you guys those right now. So here we have a pair of Birkenstocks and these are in black as you can see. And these straps are like a black suede and then the actual foot part where you put your foot and underneath the straps is like this black furry material, which feels so good y'all it feels so good it's so comfortable i actually have a pair of just all black regular birkenstocks and i hated them i was like these are so uncomfortable like so uncomfortable i don't know what it was i know you have to break them in but i was like i ain't got time so next we have us a hat and i've been seeing these style hats everywhere this is kind of like the same material as the cream cardigan that i showed you earlier it's like that fuzzy material but i've been seeing these style hats everywhere and i'm like you know what let me check it out so i got the black one because y'all know anytime i'm trying out something that i don't typically go for i get black because nine times out of ten i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna like it because it's black if i get any other color that i'm not too fond of or don't wear a lot i'm just never gonna wear it so i have on a wig right now and i've tried this on with my natural hair out and it fits so i know it's probably not going to be able to go down fully with this wig on but you guys get the gist i'll have a picture up of course and they have a bunch of other colors in this one but like i said i start off with black and everything and i actually really like it it's such a cute hat it's very cozy it goes with that cozy vibe that i've been loving lately so this is definitely going to get somewhere okay and we're going to move on to the bags so here we have three bags and as you can see i have been obsessing over the like fuzzy bag trend I have so many. I have a few that I've never even worn, but I just keep buying them and I just can't stop. But so these three here are like the perfect color for my wardrobe personally, because I have some neutrals. I wear a lot of black and then this is another neutral. So the first one, as you can see here, is this cream colored one, which is everything. This is so cute. Now you ain't gonna be able to fit too much in here. Like really, like you ain't gonna be able to fit too much in here, sis. So here's my phone. I have the iPhone. 13 or somebody. I wouldn't say it's like a comfortable fit to the point where, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff can go in here. But if you wanted to just put your phone away, if all you have in here is like a lip gloss, a little compact mirror and some cards, then your phone will definitely fit. So that's, that's cool. I thought it was much smaller than that, but I guess it's good that your phone can fit in here, if anything. And then this one, I absolutely love because of all the colors in it. I feel like this is perfect for this time of the year. The colors, the burgundy, like the green, and then the black, everything just looks, I like these colors together. It looks really cool. So this I also would wear with something probably all black, honestly, because this is kind of like extra. 
So I would just keep it very simple with this one. So yeah, with this one, you're not gonna be able to fit your phone in it, but it's still able to fit the other things like your lip gloss, a compact mirror, and like maybe some change, child. But this one's a little bit more tight and not as flexible because the inside is a different material and this is a different material. So they're made a little bit differently. So the very last bag I have here is similar to the cream one with the material, but this one's like a, kind of like a toppy type of color. And this one is obviously a tote, so you can fit way more in here. I could even fit my freaking laptop in here if I wanted to. But as you can see, super fluffy. Love the tone of this. I love these like muted colors because I have a lot of them, but I don't have a lot of accessories of this color. So this is definitely gonna get a lot of use. So I will be showing you guys a couple of accessories in this video, but not too many, because I don't want this video to get too long. I don't want it to get too extensive and I feel like it could start getting all over the place and just oversaturated in the video. So I'm gonna show you a few accessories, but I am gonna do a full on winter accessories video in a couple of weeks or so before the year is up so you guys can get some of my favorite accessories that I've been picking up for the winter. But here are some that I have in this video. So as you guys have probably seen, beanies have been super trendy lately. People have been doing the beanies, okay, like crazy. And I have been purchasing them like crazy as well. I don't really wear them because I have just been buying a bunch of them just to have like different colors and styles. But I will be styling a lot of these very soon. And I did show you one in my last accessories video, but I have a few here. I actually have like 10 in the other room, but I'm only gonna show you three of my current favorites. So this first one here is this gray paint splattered beanie, which is from Shein. Shein has been coming through with the beanie. So if you are looking for affordable beanies, definitely check them out and they're good quality as well. But this one has like a paint splatter, which I thought was super cute. And then the next one is this black and white Mia Culpa beanie. And this was the same beanie that I featured in my last video. And I told you guys that I did end up getting another color. I just got black and white because it is going to get a lot of use, period. I have a lot of black and white stuff or just black in general. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing this one a lot. And then we have this last one here that I got from Shop Cider, which I just did a haul on them for the first time, trying them out. So definitely check that out down below in the description box and I'll have it in the cards, whichever side it's on. But this beanie is so pretty. I love the color. You guys know I love all shades of green. So I had to get this one because I feel like it's perfect for this time of the year. And I just really liked this color. So I had to get it. Okay. So next up we have these beauties right here. And shout out to Russell Baginski for even sending me these. They reached out to me and they said they love my style. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And they sent me some hats. So here are the ones that they sent me over. This gorgeous pink satin one and it does have the typical logo there in rhinestone and then also the hounds tooth which is absolutely stunning and then y'all know this is my favorite the black with the red and then for the patent brim so so nice i am so in love with these i cannot wait to style them i already have a look for this one but I'm still, you know, trying to figure something out for these. So the very last accessory I have in this video are these boots, y'all. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. I love that. I've been looking for this style of boot forever, okay? And I did find some, they were designer, and y'all know if I'm not really like sold on it and I'm not gonna get a lot of use out of it, I can't really justify spending that amount of money on something. I just can't. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna hold off. And in the time frame of me kind of holding off, I found these and these are from Shein, of course, and these are absolutely gorgeous. It gives a very slouchy look once you actually put it on, which is exactly what I was going for because these types of boots, I feel like are dressy, but also very casual. So I just, I was so in love when I saw these and I had to snag them up. I did go up a size in these. I usually wear a size nine or like a Euro 40 on Shein, but I got these in a size 10. I actually got the nine and they were a little bit too snug for me. So I did size up and they fit me perfectly and comfortably with socks on because before they were a bit tight. I love them, I love them. Please go get these boots. If you like a boot that doesn't have too much of a heel but it still has a heel, it's a comfortable heel, it's something you could be an all day type of heel. So now we're moved on to the clothing and this portion I'm gonna do voiceover cause y'all this video is getting long and I don't want it to be too long but you guys have seen this top before. This was in my shop cider video. If you haven't checked that out, definitely go check it out cause the girl found her a new gym. But this top, y'all, beautiful. This is going to be a staple for me in the winter because it's such a gorgeous sweater and you could do so much layering with it. I got this in a size large. I definitely should have gotten a medium, but I also got it in black 
and I just love this top so much. I feel like it's so classy. It's very, very versatile. You can dress it up or down. You can wear this with a pair of jeans, a pair of slacks, a skirt, whatever you want, and it's gonna look really good. The shape of it just looks really nice and it accentuates your curves and it just makes you look so classy and beautiful. So these I'm gonna be loving for the winter. So next we have this gorgeous sweater and you guys, I've actually had this for like two years and I actually purchased it in store at Urban Outfitters and I am in love. I literally have not worn it yet, but I'm gonna be wearing it this winter because finally I'm in a state that actually gets less than 20 degrees. So I'm able to wear it and I'm so excited. I will link below some similar sweaters because I did find this online, but it's not even on the Urban Outfitters website anymore. So I will be adding that for you guys, but this is one of my favorites. Definitely the perfect sweater for the winter time. Definitely gonna be looking for other colors in this type of sweater. So of course, you guys know I love my cardigans. So I had to feature a cardigan in this video and this cardigan is just a black maxi cardigan from Shein, which you guys also seen in my previous Shein video, I believe. So this is a really long line cardigan and these are my favorite in the winter time and in the fall too, of course, but I love cardigans, y'all. I, I still think I'm gonna do that cardigan video because a lot of you guys said y'all wanted to see it, so I'm gonna do it, okay? <laughs> so next up are jeans that I've gotten questions about for the last like two or three years at this point. I wear these in every single try on haul and these are some vintage Levi's, I believe in the style 501. And the ones I have in my hand are for when I'm a little bit slimmer. And the ones that I have on in the try on clip are the ones that I wear when I'm a little bit thicker. Your girl's getting a little thicker these days. So I have two pairs. I know that's really extra, but jeans are literally like lifetime jeans. I will have these forever. So I am not even mad about it. But as you can see, they fit me perfectly. I got these on Etsy. So with those, you have to make sure that you know your measurements, one, so that you pick the right size for you. So she has a variety of different types of Levi's, literally colors, so many different colors, everything. I swear to you guys, so many. So I will link her Etsy shop down below because she is pretty much the goat of Levi's on there. So next we have these and I got these on ASOS and I love them so much. They snatched me all the way in. Okay, these are from the brand Bershka, which I've actually been to when I was in Qatar, when I was deployed. Went to the mall in Qatar and they had a Bershka store and I had never heard of it at that point. It was like 2018 and I was like, ooh, they have some really cute clothes. So then I saw them on ASOS and I was like, I'm gonna try them out and I absolutely love their jeans. They have some of the best jeans, period. These I got in US 8 and they fit me amazing. They're super long because they are from the tall section and they have a split hem, so they are perfect. Next up we have us a loose pair of jeans and I like to have me a really comfy, loose, slouchy fit pair of jeans. And these are the dad jeans from Levi's and I got these on Aritzia. And these are in a size 32 because I wanted them to be nice and slouchy and just comfortable. So these are my jeans that I wear with like fitted tees like I have on here or just like sweatshirts, just something super comfortable. I have to have me a pair of loose fitting jeans. My husband always jokes around and is like, why you got on them big ass jeans? And I'm like, I love them. They're so comfortable. I'm a girl who likes loose jeans, okay? I don't like tight jeans, all right? So next we have these, and these are also a pair of custom Levi's. And I got these on a vintagefit.com. I'll have a link below. But they make the jeans tailored specifically to your measurements. So I can't really say what size I got because you have to literally put in your measurements, but these are everything, okay? They're everything. I got them in a 33 inch inseam, I believe, because I like for them to be a little long so I can wear them with heels. And then when I also wear them with flats, they're not super dragging on the floor. So these are a must. Next up, we have us another pair of jeans from ASOS, which are also from the brand Bershka. And these are in black. And they're literally the same jeans as the blue ones I showed you, but they're just black. And they do have the split hem as well. And I love these jeans, y'all, oh my God. They fit so, so good. Like I have not had a good pair of fitting jeans, like the waist, the hips, the butt, the length, all in one, y'all. Okay, these eats. Okay, I will have these linked below per usual, like everything else. But if you don't get anything in this video, go for the Bershka jeans because they are it. And they're more affordable too. So next we have these gray ones and these are also from Bershka. And these I had to get because I was so in love with the other two pairs. The only thing about these, I got them in a US 10 because a US 8 was out of stock. 
and you can kind of see that they're a little bit bigger but that's completely fine i have a little bit of room to grow or i could just easily go get them taken in it's no big deal these are also a really nice length these are not tall so they aren't as long as the other ones but they still do fit me and they look good with heels i have on heels in the try on portion to show you the length of them and even though they are not tall they still are a really really good length so these you guys have seen in a previous try on haul but these are a staple i probably have worn these since buying them about 30 times and that's a lot okay to me that's a lot because i don't wear anything really that often but these have been like my go-to they're so comfortable i wear these especially to like the movies running errands they're just so slouchy and comfortable and you could do like a pair of heels with these you could do a pair of slides as i did in this photo and do a real streetwear type of look these are essential y'all and i'm pretty sure on local european they are finally back in stock and they're on sale so they're no longer as pricey as they were before so definitely go hit them up so now we moved on to the outerwear that is going to be pretty much my go-to's so I got this jacket from Shein, which was in my previous Shein haul, and I love it. Okay, I love it. This I have on in a size extra large. This is from their Daisy section, so that's why I got an extra large. The color of it is just perfect. I really like this color. I feel like you can wear it, as you can see here, with a plain white top and some black full leather pants, or you can wear it with the black top and the camo pants. You can do a lot with this color, so that's why I'm really, really in love with this jacket. Not to mention, it's super versatile and also super comfortable. So next is one of my favorite, favorite bomber jackets that I own. This I've had for some years, but you can never go wrong with a cropped bomber jacket. This I got from Dolls Kill probably like four years ago, three years ago. I don't know. I don't remember, but I've had this for a while. And you guys seen this on my Instagram in the photo, which I'm going to pop up on the screen in a second. But here's a close up. It just has like some patches on it. You can add a patch if you want to, like a custom patch, which is really cool. It has pockets, zippers. All that good stuff and like i said i styled this on my instagram like last year and you guys loved that look so here it is on the screen so yeah this one is definitely one of my favorites i've had it for years and it ain't going nowhere so next a leather jacket is one of my go-to's and i found this sick leather jacket on nasty gal probably like a month probably like honestly like two months ago at this point but i got this in a us 10 it is real leather okay so this thing feels amazing. The quality is amazing. The look of it is amazing. I love the detailing on it. Y'all know I love me a good pop of red. So when I saw this, I felt like it was literally made for me, like literally made for me. So I had to get it and I think it's gonna be such a sick piece. Like, oh my gosh, y'all, I love this jacket so much. I'm gonna be wearing it so freaking much and it's so warm. I got it in a US 10 to be able to layer with it. I didn't want to get it too slim and fitted it was labeled as oversized but it's not super big as you guys can see this is a us 10 and i still feel like it's still not that big so honestly i wish i could have gotten like a 12 but i think a 12 was sold out so yeah still amazing still love it definitely will be linked below of course i'm pretty sure it's still in stock so definitely go cop that okay so denim jackets my favorite my go-to i love them this one i got from pretty little thing and she is a light wash denim jacket oversized labeled as oversized so i did get it in a us 10 or a 12 a us 12 and i love it such a comfortable piece definitely going to be wearing this a lot it does have like those little inserts on the inside i don't know if those are supposed to be pockets but i put stuff in there sometimes so <laughs> snacks whatever i need so here's a close-up of it as you can see it's a real nice slouchy fit definitely need this in the other colors i'm pretty sure they had it in like a dark wash which i'm gonna go get because i need it and they had it in black so here we have this beauty right here and this is from revolve and it's gorgeous y'all i love me a good like shearling coat or any type of shearling or teddy or any of that and this is just like an elevated version of that like this is such a nice jacket gorgeous and i love how cropped it is it looks super tailored it's such a nice jacket it is a little bit on the pricey side now okay so i'm not saying that this is something you need but if you are willing to spend the money okay sis it's definitely a must-have and it is gorgeous i got this in a size medium and i think it's absolutely stunning i would consider this to be a slim fit so i would say it's true to size but if you want it to fit a little bigger size up so last but certainly not least, a statement coat is my go-to in the wintertime. 
And I saw this coat on Pretty Little Thing like two months ago, but I didn't get it because I was like, girl, what? But it's been like 30, 20, it's about to be negative two this week. So sis, I was like, I need this. I am in love with this. It is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous, y'all. I got this in a US 8 because it is labeled as oversized. I originally bought a US 10 and it was just huge. Like it didn't even look good. So I got my normal US 8. And it looks so much better. I feel like I'm not drowning in it and it still looks good tied up and opened up with something underneath it. But y'all, this is a must, okay? A must have. A statement coat is a must. So that is the end of this winter essentials haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely give it a huge thumbs up if you want more videos like this. These are just some pieces that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. So I'm super excited to style all of these pieces in today's video. So definitely be sure to follow me on Instagram so you guys can see these looks that I have coming. And also be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up for more videos like this. Follow your girl on Instagram, follow your girl on TikTok because I'm gonna start posting more on there. I wanna get more active on there, show a little bit more of my personality. So definitely follow me over there. And with all of that being said, I will see you all in my next one.